Hi friends, welcome to VJTech 360. In this video, we are going to see about the different types of cloud models, which we see like what is public cloud, what is private cloud and what is hybrid cloud. Let's see uh, the difference between them. If you see the public cloud, it is the most common deployment model, which we are aware. So you don't have any sort of hardware in your place or you can't update uh, this uh, cloud hardware because it is uh, in the CSP's place, okay? In some cases, you can have uh, some additional cost by sharing co computing resource with the other cloud users also. You can share your resource with the other cloud users and you can uh, get some additional uh, benefits from that. So business can use multiple cloud providers of a variety scale like Microsoft Azure is example for the public cloud as we know. Like if you see the advantages, you don't have to pay anything like there is no capital expenditure over here because uh, the hardware is bought by cloud service provider and you are just a user of it, right? So that's why you don't have so any sort of capital expenditure. And if you see agility, so application can be made accessible easily, quickly and uh, deprovisioned whenever it is needed. Like you can take within seconds and you can deprovision within seconds whenever you don't need it. And consumption based model, organization pay only for what they use and operate under operational model, operational expenditure model. This is just like you are going to use it for certain time, like one month, and you are going to pay uh, for that one month bill and next uh, next month, like in real, like a credit card bill. And maintenance, if you see, organization have no responsibility for hardware maintenance or update. So see, these all activities are taken care by the CSPs, uh, right? That's why in public cloud, you don't have anything to manage from your side. And if you see skills, no deep technical knowledge or required to deploy, use and gain the benefits of the public cloud because the configurations, the management, the uh, any sort of modifications or updates, everything is taken care by the CSPs. So we are just as an end user. That's why there is no need of deep, deep technical knowledge here. And organization can leverage the skills and expertise of the cloud providers to ensure their workloads are safe and highly available. They will take care. And what are the disadvantages if you see security, compliance, ownership, specific scenarios? Security, since this is a public cloud, obviously the security is big concern for uh, big, some customers. Okay, the, Some customers or some legacy application, they won't accept public cloud. Okay, That's why they used to go for either private cloud or a hybrid cloud. So because the security concern is there for them, that's why they won't uh, go for the public cloud. If you see complaints, so if you have any sort of restrictions in your uh, country or your origin, so all those in public cloud, it may not be possible. That's why it is considered as a disadvantage in the public cloud. There may be a government policies or industry standards or a legal requirements which public cloud can't meet. That's what they had mentioned here. Ownership, if you see organization doesn't own the hardware or services and cannot manage them at as they wish. Okay, so this is all about the CSPs are maintaining the hardware and everything. So there is no hardware that is available with the customer. So they can't manage according to that. According to the availability, they has to make use of it and they have to configure according to that. Specific scenarios, if organization have a unique business uh, requirements such as having to maintain a legacy application. That's what I told. Sometimes some legacy applications will be there. When I work, when I started my IT career, like I saw one application which is a loan, home loan application, which still works in the mainframes. There is no modern internet banking or like some web application available at that time also. Okay. So such type of applications, we can't have those type of application in the public cloud. Okay. So that's the reason uh, for not having the public cloud. So you, I hope you got what are the disadvantages. The first one is security, second one is complaints, and third one is ownership, and fourth one is the, uh, according to uh, requirements, you may not get the public cloud as you expected. That's what they had mentioned. And if you see the private cloud, this is the most secured uh, cloud model. Okay, so that's why it is, a, it is called as private cloud where you need to maintain your own data center okay 
in private cloud you create a cloud environment in your own data center and provide self service access to compute resource to your organization in your sorry use to users in your organization so if you see in your company also or organization also they have their own data center they will deploy all those internal applications and inside that network only you can access all those application if you once you are out of that organization i mean after completing your office work if you go home and you try to open it from the web it won't open because that is configured within that network okay in such a way the private clouds are designed and that's why they are more secure than any other okay so this offers a simulation of a public uh, cloud users to users but uh, you remain completely responsible for purchase and maintenance of the hardware software services you provide so you need to take care of hardware updates or like if something is repair you need to take care of it if some software patch you has to apply you need to do it like that in private cloud everything is responsible for the organization whoever is maintaining that they has to take care of this if you see advantages you have a complete control of your hardware that's why they had given it is an advantage and if you see security as it we discussed this is the most secured uh, private cloud model that's why uh, the security obviously will be high complaints if there is any sort of complaints like regulations government regulations like my data my citizens data should not copy from one place to another place such type of complaints will be there obviously in again countries like india also we have germany they have and us uh, also they have like that every country have their own complaints they have rules and regulations if you want to meet them then you need to go for the private cloud specific scenarios as i told like there is if there is certain legacy applications so that you can maintain by using the private cloud also okay and what is the disadvantage of front capital expenditure so if you see in in public you don't need to spend any sort of capital expenditure i mean you need not to spend a single penny for hardware for buying things uh, from the vendors so but in when it comes to the private cloud you need to purchase the hardware but initially itself so hardware must be purchased for the startup and maintenance so you has to do it and agility you so uh, if you see that private clouds are not as agile as a public cloud so because you need to purchase and set up the underlying infrastructure before they are can be leveraged and if you see maintenance organization have a responsibility of hardware maintenance and update so as we discussed everything has to taken care by the our organization so that's why skills obviously you has to have good technical knowledge then only you can maintain the private cloud so if you see private cloud requests in house it skills and expertise they have uh, they may be hard to get or to be costly so to get those resources it's not easy because they are technically expert so you need to spend a lot of money for them as well and if you see hybrid cloud so sometimes you have a uh, where what we call uh, a flexibility of having your some resource in cloud and some resource in on premises that time this hybrid cloud computing will be there okay so if you see hybrid cloud combines the public and private clouds allowing you to run your application in most appropriate location example you can put your web server in the public cloud and you can maintain your data base in the uh, private cloud so in such a way you can maintain that type of combinations we call it as a hybrid cloud and if you see what are the advantages you have a flexibility where you can keep some resource in the private and some resource in the public so cost if you see you can leverage the uh, benefits of the public cloud that's why the cost is moderately uh, between your public and your private so if you see control something some some resource which you kept in the cloud you may not have control but you have whatever you have kept in your organization or your data center it will you can control all of them here and if you see security organization can still access the resource for which they are accessible responsible for the security here the security uh, will be there but it is not as like a private cloud okay it is little bit compromised on uh, what you kept in the public cloud and what you kept in the data center and
compliance organization maintain the ability to comply with the restrict uh, security compliance legal requirements as needed so here also if there is any sort of compliance you can do it like if some data is not allowed you can set up that data center in that uh, locally itself and you can keep your web server somewhere and this web server can you can access the uh, data from the local uh, uh, database such type of configurations will be done so like that if you see disadvantages upfront capital expenditure as we discussed right something you are going to maintain in the uh, locally itself like your own data center so obviously you have to spend some money so cost if you see purchasing and maintaining a private cloud to use along with the public cloud can be more expensive than the selecting a single deployment model see see it's if it is a public you need not to bother if it is a private you need to take care of everything but here you need to see configuring both is very difficult okay and maintaining between they were private and cloud like configuration of both of them is very very difficult so that's why compared to single deployment model when you are going for the mixing of one or two cloud deployment model obviously it will be more risk okay so a deep technical knowledge is definitely required and still required to able to start up with the private cloud because some things you are going to maintain in the private cloud that's why you need to have a deep technical knowledge and it is not easy that how like for word sake i can say that uh, you can combine public and private but when it comes to real world or real projects it's not that much e that much easy uh, to have a hybrid cloud because security is very big concern and what ports you allowed what uh, applications you allowed everything has to be deeply analysis and then only you can conclude like this is secured or not so lot of checks has to be happen okay so ease of management organization needs to ensure that uh, they are clearly guidelines uh, to avoid confusion conflicts or misuse that's what we discussed right whenever you are com co uh, combining or mixing or cloud deployment you should always be very careful okay you should not have any confusion like my web server i need to keep in either public or cloud public or private and uh, whether it is configured correctly everything has to be taken care then only you will achieve the hybrid cloud hybrid cloud is the biggest technical knowledge people whoever having a, whoever maintains this hybrid cloud so and private cloud also obviously there has to be very good technical knowledge but to make use of public cloud you need not to have much technical knowledge but once you had one demo or two demo you can able to launch by yourself and no need to maintain anything right that's why they had mentioned uh, no, not much technical knowledge is required but always remember for private cloud you should be technically good and for hybrid you should be very technically good so I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching this video. See you in next video.